Okay guys, um, going to show you how to tie the spinner rig. Um, I normally don't vary from the the types of rigs that that I used, um, but I saw a lot of hype about this, uh, particularly in the um, Corda uh, DVDs. So I I went out to the shop. I, I bought the, you know some of the bits that I needed. Um, and I tried it on um, me and more uh, fishery in crew um, over the weekend um, with with great success um, there was free fish uh, come out in that that whole weekend between um, you know five anglers um, I stayed for 24 hours um, managed to to land myself a nice um, 20 pound common um using using this rig um just put a single out um into a spot that that looked nice it was really hard there was no um showing fish when i arrived um i was put to the bailiff it, no fish had um been seen nothing been out on the friday night i was there saturday night um he gave me a few tips he was fishing himself and um he managed to you know to to nab one um and then uh, a day angler on the the sunday managed to to hook into one as well um but yeah um massive fan of this rig already just because um it did what um a lot of people you know weren't doing um that weekend um and and hooking into a fish so i'll talk you through the the bits that that I've picked up and um, what you need for this rig. Um, in a second, I'll just say um, if you can subscribe um, and like the video. Um, uh, you know, also you know, give me a comment um, if you like what I'm doing. Any tips as well? You know, I'm I'm open to you know some some criticism really. You know, I'm a, I'm a doing it right. Can you see you know everything that I'm tying? If not. Um, you know, let me know. Um, I, I can change things that that I'm doing to help you be able to to see better. Um, also, check out my uh, Patreon page. Um, you know, the more followers, uh, the more subscribers I get on there, the the better videos that that I can create, and the you know more equipment that I can buy for you know for for doing these videos. Um, it's just you know helping me. Um, you know bring these these rigs to you really so um, you know looking at the the bits that I've got first of all um, in the Corda DVDs they use a, a lot of the the new boom section I really don't think you you need to um, if you want to it's, it's probably just as good as this uh, mouth trap but I like the mouth trap in in 25 pound it's you know really firm it, it works perfect as a, a boom section you also need um, some kickers I went out and bought kickers um, none of the coloured ones I've, I've just gone for a nice uh, you know subtle brown um, I don't like anything to to stand out much to be honest um, except for my my bait size 4 crank probably one of my uh, favourite hook patterns um, micro rig swivel, the um, quick change ring swivel, bait floss, and uh, also hook beads. Just to hold that there. I'm also going to be crimping using the large crimps um, with this uh, 25 pound mouth trap. Uh, that should be more than enough. So. Let's get this moved out of the way um, and get a start on it. So, first of all, I'm going to start making the boom section. It's actually a really simple um, rig to tie. So, as always, cutting off more than I need. But, got masses of the stuff there. Then, all we're doing is attaching one of these quick change ring swivels 
you see we've got a nice little clip there which we're going to be clipping the hook into later on so first of all let's get ourselves some crimps out thread through your line up one side of the crimp through the large ring on the ring swivel and then back down through the other side of that crimp make yourself a nice loop I'll just try and make it a similar size as the ring that you've got on the ring swivel just to give it you know a nice bit of movement this is where you want to have your movement similar to the um, the stiff hinge rig so get that get your crimping tool place your crimp in the crimp tool using the large ones this time so into the second hole and then just squeeze that shut make sure it's nice and tight just go over that again just to double check so then you're left with this basically it's a swivel attached to a bit of line um, so what we're going to do now finish the rest of the boom off which is nice and easy figure out how long you want it want it about six or seven inches long we're going to thread on another crimp down there that's probably how long I want it thread the line back down the crimp again pull that so we've got a bit of a loop say somewhat along those lines I'm not sure if you can see that I'll bring it further up about that if the camera in focus Bring this one a bit darker so you can see it. Then crimp that down again. In the large holes, crimp it. Done. Then what I'm going to do is just get rid of these tag ends. So you get me using way too much line. Bit of a waste really, but I'd rather have too much than too little. Snip that off. Just one tag end. Snip the other one off. That's that tag end. That's your boom section. Done. Dusted. No more messing with that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the hook end so the actual swivel part of the rig which comes from this swivel that we put on earlier. So all we're going to do is take my scissors or a knife or whatever you've got place it into that clip and then just prise it open a bit more prise it open a bit more until you've got enough of a gap I don't know if you can see that enough of a gap so you can get that through the eye of the hook take your crank hook or you can use a curved shank entirely up to you I like to use the cranks just because they're a, a favourite pattern of mine then thread this if you imagine the you, you're threading line through, you want to thread again 
as if you you're threading that line through towards the uh, the point of the hook, and then just push that on like that. So basically, you just clip that hook on. It's nice and loose at the minute, but we'll sort that out in a second. So I take the crimp tool and then I just stick that clip into the small gap in the crimp tool and then I just close that down. So we opened it, stuck the hook on, closed it up again. Nice and simple. Then what we want to do is take one of the kickers in brown. Some people cut these down, like cut them down on the, the cord of video. Personally I don't I don't particularly bother. Um, thread that on large end first. Thread that over the hook. Wet down that um, that swivel and the IE hook, and then push that down. So push it over the eye of the hook. Keep going, keep going, keep pushing, just until you're covering up that opening like that so you end up with a boom section and then this sort of hook section it's just a, a massive gape basically um, then what we need is we need a way of attaching the bait so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go to one of these micro rig, rig swivels Take that, thread your hook through one of the eyes on the rig swivel, and then one of these hook beads, thread that on to your hook. Snap that off now, and then just thread that right round. Keep going until you get. Now these are a barbless hooks, um, so just imagining where the the barb would be, and then bring that bead down to where that that barb would be. Then all you need to do. Bit of bait floss. Same principle here as as what we were doing earlier with the uh, the chod and the um, the IQ D rig as well. Thread that on. Get your bait. Thread your bait onto the floss, pull your floss through, separate your floss again, and then just pull that swivel roughly halfway into your bait as we did earlier. Then a bait stop. Tie a knot first of all, just to make it easier for yourself. Get 
get your bait stop stick it through the hole tighten that down and then tie a couple more granny knots on top One. Snip it off. A little bit of putty. Just using that quickly mold that around the crimp. Get your puller tools. Tighten that up. Make sure them crimps aren't going to slip. I'd rather do it now in your hand than in the water, get your chuddy tool, stick that in there, open in that loop, and then this one, not as important, I just like to stick it through because then it's easier to, to clip on later. And there it is, one spinner rig, made in minutes, you know it's not took me long to do that and I'm talking you through it, once you get to uh, you know, doing it then you haven't done in no time. The beauty about this rig as well is because you're using that clip just to clip the hook on then you know if your hook goes blunt or you want to change your hook if you, you can, you're fishing barbless and you need to um, you're fishing barbed and you need to fish barbless you can literally just lift that sleeve up unclip the hook stick another hook on um, nice and easy you can even have you know even have a baited hook ready to go with the sleeve on and the the bead the, the bait ready to go bank side and then as soon as you reel it in bring that sleeve back open that um, that clip up again, slide your hook off, slide a new one on, close it down, pull the sleeve over, done, ready to cast out again. Sits perfectly on the water in the in the water. Doesn't sit high, just sits the the length of the hook and the swivel. So it's just nice and close to the bottom. It's not far at all. Um, and like I say, bagged me a a fish when not many were so for me it's an um, absolute winner so that's pretty much it um, hope you've enjoyed the video um, subscribe click like give me a few comments like I said you know I want to know what you're you're thinking about the videos if there's any way you feel I can improve if there's any videos you know you want me to do you know anything that you you need if you wanna um, see videos of me on the bank or whatever um you know put that in the comments so you know if i if i don't know then i can't do anything about it um similarly um you know if you want the you know my my video quality to improve which i do um you know get onto my patreon page um you know and, and subscribe on there um you know and, and donate um you know it, it'll all go in to you know to to competitions um more videos more equipment so I can make better quality videos um, so every little every little helps and you can donate as little or as much as you want um, also check out the website that's www.carpcompass.co.uk thanks for watching and tight lines